I was really surprised when I saw how packed the room got. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know what to expect because this is my first time ever, so. <laughs> Yeah, I it's I feel like it's easy to look at just like a high number on a screen and be like, yeah, that's a lot of people. But then you see like just like what, 300? I can't count. Like 300 people in one room and you're like, holy, sh oh, I shouldn't curse. Holy cow, that is a lot of people. Hi guys, how are you? Look, you picked the comfiest seat in the house down there, isn't it? Unbelievable, and you've been shopping as well. So good. So, of course, we all know why we're here. Yes? You guys are awkwardly quiet. Really awkwardly quiet. But uh, that's okay. This is the American Power Couple. Look, we did this. Who was here yesterday? Yeah, all right. So, uh, we know... Uh, that we are in for a really, really great time. Please welcome to the stage, Dinos and Emma Richard. Look, so uh, to be fair, we weren't actually sure if you had opposable thumbs or not, so we put mic stands there just in case. Oh, thank you. Oh, they're on. Thank you. All right. So, um, actually, do you know what? Because we're going to... Look, look at me. I'm just going to do some housekeeping here uh, as, we, as we multitask. I'm just going to get oh, rid of that. Thank you. And that, so it's going to look prettier. How good, are, how good are these secret lab chairs? Yeah, we have the same chairs at home, actually. Yeah. So, no, really? Yeah, I love it in pink, but yes. Well, yeah, yeah look, I was going to color them I'm so pink. far away from them. <laughs> no, we got, we got wheels, so we can all wheel over together. Yeah, that's awesome. There you okay, go. This is better. Yeah. Dangerous, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get distracted. Like a Titan. Anyways, <laughs> thank you. Some people got that because it's the top brand model of chair it is. Anyway. Uh, so, um, we did this yesterday, we played a little game, mm -hmm. a little bit of a Q&A session. Mm -hmm. So today is all about the Q&A. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let's have a bit of a, a little bit of a chat about life, to see sure. how that's going for you guys. Yeah. Because we care, lots. Uh, so, uh, how's life been since moving to Japan? Because that's a, that's a big move for... Yeah. It's been really great. Uh, it was a little stressful at first and like kind of hectic because we had to get used to, you know, a completely new environment. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. We've been learning the language. Well, what happened? Nothing. We've been learning the language uh, slowly but surely. And yeah, it's been it's been a good time. I know I've been spoiled because when we went to Anime Expo or when we flew to California for Anime Expo. Every like minor inconvenience experienced, I was like, <laughs> oh god, wait, sorry, something got caught in my throat. Every minor inconvenience we experienced, I was like, man, this sucks. Where's my public transport? Uh, terrible, <laughs> terrible. And uh, Donis, you moved over a little bit later. Yes. Uh, how how was that? Did you did you send Emma to as like a? Uh, 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 as the a scout to see how everything is to sort it out for you and then you just waltz in later? All I'm saying is Japan is too damn hot and I want it to end and then when September happened, it's still hot. So being in Australia today makes me feel good because it's cold. <laughs> Alright, so uh, follow-up question. Yeah. Uh, so Japan hot. Yes. When we talk hot, there are two different kinds of hot because we're Australians and we know. There's humid tropics hot, yes. and then there's a dry desert hot. Humid. Humid. Uh, worst yeah. sort. Like 80%. No. You walk outside, it's wet, but you're like sweating already. Well, you can't even take a shower to cool down. That's terrible. No. Mm -hmm. And then you look around, and I was counting how many people had shorts on out in Shinjuku. There's only three people in total at 90 degrees. Yeah, and people I was just still like, wear long sleeves in like scorching hot weather. Sorry, I'm just getting my phone out to work out what 90 degrees <laughs> is. Yeah, because there's uh, yeah. Uh, it, look, I look, I get it. You're you're American. I uh, sweat like a pig. Uh, <laughs> maybe because I am one. <laughs> <laughs> And look, thankfully, uh, America is inching toward the metric system, which is great. Oh, it is? No, there's only three countries that use uh, imperial measurements. One of them is America, and the other two countries I've never heard of. So, mm -hmm. 
Good company, good company. But yeah, 90 degrees is quite warm. Yeah, and humidity, 80%, that's terrible. So is there like air conditioning everywhere? Yeah, like, yeah, I know yeah. I'm just hijacking this, but I'm really interested in the temperature of Japan. I'm just gonna say, if you wanna visit Japan, do it anytime, but not in the summer. I'm serious, or you will die. My opinion, though. <laughs> so, favorite things about moving to Japan? The food. The food. Hands down, the food. Yeah, so is this, uh, uh, so culturally food's obviously very, very different because the cuisine is different, but also, uh, like, is it, is it the same as like we would have here? You would go shopping and then you make a heap at home or do you just eat out lots? Uh, we usually cook at home now, but we're, when we're we starting to move, cook out, we eat a lot. Yeah. We, we had our honeymoon phase and now we're cooking at home because Japanese food, you, you think it's healthier, but it's not much healthier. It's a lot of carbs. Yeah. Sorry, what, and what's wrong with carbs? Well, Nothing. says the fat man on the stage. <laughs> well, if you want to lose weight, you know. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's, let's move on. We are going to get to questions from you guys. Um, I want to talk about your art, which is what both of you are known for. And uh, I love your YouTube channels and how you've uh, pieced together not only the skills that you have, but the authentic nature of the art that you create and how you always seem to be coming up with some really interesting ideas and some interesting concepts for your channels. Um, so what was a piece of art that you drew at any point in your careers that you look back on and thought, oh, this is my magnum opus? Oh, magnum opus? Yeah, like, magnum that's like the best thing you've ever made. Well, I guess, I guess the video that blew me up kind of is hot teacher, <laughs> my hot English teacher. I put a lot of work into making her looking really hot, so. Look, after yesterday's panel, I feel like there's a bit of a theme happening here, Darkness. What? <laughs> it was a good video. I, hey, I was just being honest. I think. And yours? My magnum opus is still definitely Childhood Crushes 2. Yeah, that's, uh, the second one's the best one, right? Cause, yeah. Because like, I'm in it, right? <laughs> It's my favorite, I think. It's one of those videos where like, I had a really good time just from start to finish. Like even when I was editing the audio, I remember I was laughing to myself as I was editing it down. And then like usually years later when I look back on a video, I'm like, ew, cringe, I should unlist that. But that video in particular, I'll like, re I'll come back to it sometimes and I'll be like, ah, it's still funny. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I like that with jokes. I just go, yeah, that's still funny. That's never going to get old. I love it. So I get it. Totally get it. So do we have any uh, uh, VTubers, YouTubers here in the audience? Any? Yeah, nice. Uh, three people. Okay. <laughs> Four people. So look, I'm really curious because you guys do so. Uh, who's got? Who's got more? Who's got more subs again? <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. Uh, so. How do you think YouTube has changed as a platform for creators over time? Because I remember even uh, myself being a creator in the early days, and you went, that actually paid quite well, it, there wasn't a huge amount of competition, and now we're seeing sort of a space that's uh, got a lot more competition in it and a lot more pressure mm -hmm. to come up with uh, unique and interesting things in order to obtain and maintain that audience and you guys have got some quite large numbers there how do how do you feel the platforms change for content creators you want to go first sorry is that is that too deep or i don't know how to answer it i feel like i don't know enough about yeah i know it sounds ironic but well, i feel like i don't know enough i think with things. with youtube like always it's uh it's the trends are always going very fast okay there was the you know Keep Star Arc, okay? Yeah, everybody knows that, right? And then there was like the animation before, which was uh, New Grounds, and it just, it moves really fast, that's all I'm saying. I, I view YouTube as this very like sort of scary entity where it's, YouTube's scary because they can like screw you over at any point and like uh, with yeah. no explanation and you can't really question it. I believe we call that uh, a Googling. A what? A Googling. Wait, why? So where Google will just screw you over. 
What do you I mean? I can say that. Well, I'm, I'm just agreeing with you. Oh, okay. And attaching a new phrase that I've just coined that didn't oh, work out so well. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, YouTube, I, I view as very. I'm sorry. I'm, I no, that's okay. Really no, that's all right. It must be why it's my accent. Oh. <laughs> um, no, so, uh, you, you're concerned about YouTube because it could screw you over at any yeah, time? Yeah, it could screw you at any given moment. So, I sort of like. The way I approach YouTube is like, I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Please leave me alone. Like, don't mess with my stuff. And then, yeah, that's how I. I think you worded it perfectly. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Uh, so, moving back to uh, the uh, pop culture realm, uh, what TV show was the most meaningful and relatable to you? Because I know, I know that we talked about a heap yesterday, so what has been the most meaningful TV show for you guys? Most meaningful TV show? What oh. altered your soul? Probably Fruits Basket, if I'm being honest. It's such a, it's such a like, oh, of course she's said Fruits Basket, but it's true, it's why I like no, it No, so I get much. it, I totally get it. <laughs> Donis? I think mine was Ranma one and a half, because I think I got into manga before anime, and uh, that one really spoke to me, that got me to watch anime, so. Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, let's talk about uh, something you tried to tackle, but weren't happy with, but plan on going back to finish. Uh, let's talk about unfinished projects you wish you had finished or need to finish. Because as a creator, how, ma how many times do you actually start with an idea and go, oh, I'm so excited, let's do this, and then you get halfway through it and go, mm, nah. No, usually if I get as far as halfway, I'm like, I, I've got this far, I have to commit. All right. So, yeah. Dottis, do you give up more easily? Uh... I mean, sometimes you second guess yourself and like, you're, you listen back and you're like, am I still funny? And then you're like, oh, I guess it's all right. And then you continue. But do you have any unfinished projects? Oh, unfinished projects. I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, see, I like that. That's commitment to the cause. Uh, so with the, when you're actually creating stuff, I mean, I think YouTube's a really interesting uh, a, a platform and the concept of pre-recorded content is really interesting because you create everything that we see in the videos without any external uh, feedback. So you create a whole piece of art, mm -hmm. a whole video, and then put it out to the world and go, oh, I hope I've self-assessed correctly. Is there, is there pressure with that? Do you, how often do you go through and go, no, I can't, can't release that, I can't do that, or I need to edit that, or it's not funny enough, or it's not good enough? Is there, is that a thought process that regularly goes through your mind? All the time, but usually I get into the headspace of like, it's not good enough when the video is like pretty much done. And at that point, I'm like, ah, oh, F it, I'm just gonna upload it. If it sucks, it sucks. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, it's not like I can scrap the whole thing. I'm, yeah. Uh, look, I, I, I get that because how, how long does it take you to make a video, like, because uh, oh, yeah. I, I look at all of your videos, mm -hmm. um, and look, I love the animation, I love the story that you tell, and I love the, how personable both of your videos are. Um, how, how long does that take you to come up with the concept and put it together and draw everything and do um, all of that? If we know life it, we're gonna do it two to three weeks. If we want a life, a month or more, and then sometimes you just, you need like, I don't know, like a burst of motivation sometimes. I don't know, it's like a, for me it's a switch. It has to be either on or off. And when it's off, it's hard to turn on. But once it's on, it doesn't turn off. So once it's on, it's a Herculean effort and you're just powering through it. Yeah, yeah, basically just hours of, I, I pretty much, I think. That sounds like the definition of neurodiversity <laughs> to me and I love I, it. I think, what, what show was I watching? I was watching like, Oh yeah, I was watching Better Call Saul. I finished the whole six seasons and then I finished my video. So that, <laughs> that's a good time frame right there. Uh, and for you? Oh yeah, if I, there, there's, I think the fastest I'll usually finish a video is two weeks. If I know life it. Yeah, you went crazy. Yeah. The, when a childhood crush videos, you just like no life in it like crazy. Yeah, wake <laughs> up, draw, eat occasionally and then go back to bed and then draw. 
So what? So which one of your videos took you the longest to make? What's what video concept or idea were you so passionate about that you've gone? This is going to occupy every waking moment of my life until I get this thing done. Which one took the longest? Oh, uh, I, I can't me, remember. For me, it was Ditus Ronpa because I had to remember how to do 3D, and then I had to do the 3D camera, and then I had to draw every character, color every character, and then I had to get the audio from each voice actor, and then... Hey, whatever, you know, yeah, it, it, it takes forever, okay? <laughs> yeah. So when we're talking about the voice actors in the more some of the more complex videos there, uh, why have you not used more Australian voice actors in your videos? Oh, well, I did once. Actually, no, never mind. It was impersonating some. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. I don't know, but we should start. Maybe you want to... <laughs> you want to you, you be one? <laughs> Not what I'm pushing for, but yes, happy to, happy to. I'll have my people call your people. Um, but when, you, when you're thinking about that, being, being American I, uh, or, uh, and having that large audience there, is that a consideration as in going, well, how do I, how do I vary that? How do I, uh, how do I increase the representation of a whole heap of different English-speaking uh, voices and characters and concepts or is it something that you go well I know what my audience likes I just want to keep it there and not sort of push the boundaries yeah I, I think it's the second one sorry I know I should probably elaborate but yeah it's like I know what my audience likes so I just excellent next question okay <laughs> <laughs> sorry I love you guys so much uh, okay um, let's talk about uh, something. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, baseball for a second. Huh? Baseball. Baseball. Yeah, Dinosaurs? yeah, yeah. Oh, like like baseball? Americans of baseball, uh, Australia's national pastime is lying to foreigners. So, what is the most outrageous lie that you've been told about Australia? Oh my God! Okay, so just the other day, I went to a friend's birthday party because he lives in Melbourne. And he's like, "Hey, I'm turning 25," and it was um, it was the day that I landed, and I was like, "Cool!" Oh, wow! And so, I went to a house party, and I was eating popcorn, and this Australian guy walks over, and he's like, "Whoa, what is that?" And I'm like, "It's popcorn," and he's like, "Can I try some?" And I'm like. Yes? Do you not? Have you never eaten popcorn? And he like tried it. And he was like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm like, have you never had popcorn? He's like, no, it's not really a thing in Australia. No way. And I'm like, really? He's like, no, I'm just messing with you. And then my other Australian friend convinced me that there were no small dogs here. They're just outrageous. Do you know what, to be fair, we don't have small dogs. We just have large rats. <laughs> uh, well, with, I, I think Emily's... Our friend basically said, like, they're, I, I remember Emily saying that Australians will lie to you, make a lie. So then my friend came up to me and he was like, hey, did you know that uh, us Australians lost a war against the emus? Like, that's not parents. a lie. That's yeah, true. I, I, but it. that's the thing. I thought he was lying. I couldn't believe him. And then he had to Google it to me and show me. And I was like, how? <laughs> Do you know what? Let me tell you how. This is... This is an amazing part of Australian history. We literally sent the army in to battle emus. And as part of that plan, nobody thought that the emus could not retreat because physically they cannot run backwards. So, well, was there any... Yeah! Was, there, was you. there any casualties? Yes, and the emus still won. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, imagine like Have going you... going to the there's mother a, and being like, "Hey, <laughs> there's a movie about it. We made a movie about the emu, the Great Emu War. There are books about it. This is like a legit thing, and everyone's gone quiet because they don't care." Have I, you guys ever had a rematch with them? I'll check out the movie. Oh, we're, as a as a on behalf of human race. We're scared. <laughs> We're very scared. Although <laughs> emu tastes fantastic when you slow cook it. Oh, okay. It's got this. It's like a wagyu because you got the fat marbling. Anywho, uh, any other lies? 
Nope, that's about it. I've been here for like two days. <laughs> Have you tried fairy bread? No, isn't that just bread with butter and sprinkles? What's the problem with that? that I think that sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, Vegemite, have you tried that? I tried that this morning with butter. Yeah? It's with just... butter soft. What do you, what? Do you eat it by itself? People told me to put, mix it with butter. Yeah, look, uh, yeah, some people do mix it with butter, but uh, yeah, the hardcore and purists among us don't. It just tastes like spreadable soy sauce. I'll give you that, that's fair. I was sleeping. <laughs> Also fair. Uh, have you tried like uh, any of our confectionery? Uh, we've tried Tim Tams. Tim Tams rock. Uh, have you done a Tim Tam slam? No. That's where you have a cup of coffee or tea or tea. Don't send me hate mail. Uh, and you bite the corner off each, uh, the opposite corner of the Tim Tam biscuit, and you uh, then suck the tea or coffee through it, and then throw it into your mouth. That's a Tim Tam slam. Oh, that sounds good. You that have, sounds pretty good. You have not lived until you've done that. Okay, well, will try it later. Amazing. Okay, we will try Thank that later. Um, so, moving on, mm -hmm. uh, from our light and superfluous questions to quite a serious question. Oh boy, okay. How do you not burn out? Um, That's a really, really big issue. How many of us have, have suffered from burnout? <laughs> yeah? With work, <laughs> with our passions, with friends. Yeah, this is a safe space here. So burnout's a really, really big thing. And, you know, we all look up to you guys. You do some really great content and you have just these amazing lives. What do you do to help you not burn out? Or do you burn out? What's that been like? I feel like I have yet to experience like true burnout. I think the closest I got was like during the pandemic, oh, when yeah. every day just sort of turned into the same day. Like that it just bad. felt one yeah. really long groundhog day. I think that's the closest I got because I used to use like conventions and fun events as motivation. Like, oh, once I finish this video, I can go to this con. But then there was like a whole like year or two where you couldn't go anywhere. like. You couldn't even go to the grocery store comfortably. Yeah. So I just felt really sad. Yeah, just remember that we're doing this in Melbourne, uh, where we had the longest lockdown in the world. Yeah, yeah it's uh, depressing. Yeah, because Melbourne's yeah. all about being number one at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you're right. It was a really challenging time for a lot of people. So yeah. are there any self-soothing techniques that you use to help you get back on track? Yeah, I think the reason why I've managed to avoid burnout for so long is because I just focus more on making what I want rather than what I think people want. Okay. Yeah, so like for example, like I occasionally I'll do sketchbook tours, which is very different from my usual content, but it's where I fill out like an entire sketchbook and then I just record a video of myself flipping through it and just talking. And admittedly, like, yes, it's not as interesting compared to, like, a normal story video. And occasionally, like, I'll get comments where people will be like, you know, Emily, this video would do a lot better if, if you uh, did another story. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but... Oh, my God, that's really amazing. Thank you for your feedback. How many subscribers have you no! got? No! Oh, my God, none. No, but... It... No? You're a lot nicer than me. No! I, it's, it's like, yeah, I know it's not going to do well, but that, I don't let that stress me out. Like, I don't yeah. want to prioritize, like, engagement over, because I feel like with art, you really have to be into it for, to, like, really finish it. So if I'm not feeling like a video that I'm working on, I'll burn out faster, or I'll get close yeah. to wanting to burn out, because I'm not enjoying the process, so it's torturous, but... Yeah, I just prioritize, like, I want to make this because I want to make it. And if it does well, it does well. And if it doesn't, that's fine, too. For me, it's a win-win situation because I feel like when you're doing art, the more you draw, the better you get, right? Yep. So probably. I'm like, okay, well, if it doesn't do well, it's still fine because I managed to get that practice in and I get to scratch that creative itch. And now it's done. Cool. Yeah. And if it does well, then cool. That's also great. How about you, yeah. Dottis? Uh, for me, I do burn out, but thankfully I like what I do, and it takes me like a month, like a month, but eventually I'm like, I'm feeling it again. So I, I stop when I don't feel like it, and I start when I feel like it. So that's just how I've always been doing it, and that's how I stop from being sad. <laughs> 
Uh, you know what? I, I, actually, I actually really like the message behind that. It's going, it's about listening to yourself and having that ability to self-assess, to go, do you know what, I'm not feeling this now, so I'm gonna take some time out for me. And by taking some time out for you, that helps you rekindle that flame and to go, yeah, now I'm into it. So let's just smash it out. Let's do it. Sounds yeah. fun. Sometimes you just have to do something else that'll spark that like yeah. little like ignition well, again. Th I think there's two. There's, there's the passion that sparks randomly and then number two, sometimes it doesn't and you just have to brute force it, sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. So the most disappointing thing that I ever learnt was research was research that I read, because I don't have a life. Um, and it said that motivation, uh, motivation comes after you start. And that was such a messed up thing to hear, because you know how many of us wait for the motivation to do something? Yeah. And then we realize that if we just go, all right, I think this is a great idea, let's start, that's when that motivation comes. Uh, I find that that's a counterintuitive way to talk about the artistic process, to go, how do I get my ideas is just by starting and just by doing and getting that practice in, as you said. So, yeah, love it. Okay, so uh, I feel like we've gas bagged enough. How about we do some questions? What do you feel like? Do you want some questions? Look at you all politely sitting there listening to me talk. <laughs> Love that, so good. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Any questions, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point to you. Uh, and when I point to you, you're gonna make your way up to the centre microphone. Please do not sing Adele. What I need you to do is ask your question, all right. So, here we go. In the front corner there, come on up. First one. No pressure. No, no, you can walk around the front. Walk around the front. This is very economical. Much, much shorter, much better up. Yeah, background music for the walk. I love it. See that? Look. Okay, sorry. Um, hi, sorry. This is my first time doing something like this. Um, I know both of you have played Genshin Impact before, um, and I was wondering who had the better gotcha luck. Okay, so a question for them, not for me. Yeah. So All right, fair enough. Whatever. Well. This is a difficult question because I'm the one that spent <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> Would that mean I have the better gotcha she, luck? She has the better gotcha oh. luck because I've never, uh, in my history of Genshin, I've never rolled two five stars in one, okay? I got two Zhong Li's and a Kuching in the same time. Okay, can you leave the stage, please? And <laughs> go back home. I, I don't think that'll ever happen again, but I was very happy when it did. She barely spends any money, too, so... Well, that's what she's got you for. Huh? That's what she's got you for. Well, she can't stop me. Nobody can stop me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I, I love that. Thank you. Fiscally thank you. responsible. Irresponsible. Irresponsible. No, that's you want to see six people. I'm fine with just the one coffee. It's time to gamble, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another question. Let's see. How about you? Come on down. <laughs> So price is right, really. Hello. 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 I've got a question for Emily. Yes. I know you mentioned that you were going to move on from childhood crushes. Yes. And I was just wondering if you'd do a similar format for different topics, just riffing with Oh, friends. yeah, yeah. I would love and to. And Didas, are you concerned that she's moving on from childhood crushes? What does that mean for you? Bring me back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, answer the I'm question. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, I do. I love the conversation format so much just because of how like unhinged it gets sometimes. So yeah, I would love to explore other topics. I just, I'm not sure what yet, but yeah, yeah, I do want to. Thank you. All right, next question. All right. Uh, before you start, before you ask your question, uh, I'm just paranoid. I don't want to do a Dave Grohl down here. Um, Amazing cosplay. What do we think? A big round of applause. What a great cosplay. So Love cute. it. All right, what's your question? Um, I just want to see how it feels to kind of see the numbers from the screen kind of in perspective of like all of us here. Uh, it was my, oh yeah, it's on. Okay. It's, I still am, I was really surprised when I saw how packed the room got. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know what to expect because this is my first time ever, so. 
Yeah, I it's I feel like it's easy to look at just like a high number on a screen and be like, yeah, that's a lot of people. But then you see like just like what, 300? I can't count. Like 300 people in one room and you're like, holy sh Oh, I shouldn't first. Holy cow, that is a lot of people. Uh, but if, yeah, look, it's if it surreal. helps you any. Uh, we're all big fans of science, so cursing doesn't count because that's more folklore. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy, and I really appreciate you guys for coming out here to see us. Thank you. All right, great question. All right, come on up. Look at me impulsively pointing at people. That's what I was born to do. Look at this. All right. G'day, how are you? I'm good. Up. All right, closer to the mic. Have uh, Emily, have you found any embarrassing habits from Didus? <laughs> oh that's, my god. That's very hard. What this do you mean? This man, <laughs> cost, every time he takes his socks off, he, okay, so as soon as we enter the, what is that? As soon as we enter the apartment, a normal person walks to their room, takes their sock off, and throws it in the hamper, right? This man always takes his socks off as soon as he enters the door, and then he leaves it there by the shoes. Who and wears then, socks at home? I want bare feet. Wait, walk to the hamper. What sort of it's, floor coverings do you have at home? Huh? What sort of floor coverings do you have at home? You it's know, just hardwood. Hardwood, okay. So it just, you, you, it's just like a little, like, like, uh, like, a breadcrumb trail of socks everywhere. Hey, if you're gonna throw me under the bus, I'm just gonna say, Emily uses our couch as a, like, a bag holder, <laughs> and there's like five bags on there, and I wanna rest, and I can't, because there's like bags and posters all over the goddamn couch. <laughs> When I brought up the sock thing, he was like, who's gonna come over and see the socks? And one time we had an Ikea delivery guy come and he like walked in, dropped off the stuff and he didn't realize that the socks were our socks. So he picked it up and he was like, oh, did I drop something? He touched someone else's dirty socks? Yeah, and he was like, yeah. oh, sorry. I I think, <laughs> did you say that? I think it's a Japanese thing because like no Japanese people like leave the, the socks on the ground, you know, it's rude. So I, I did an oopsie <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. And how many delivery guys come and see that and just roll their eyes and go, ugh, oh, Americans? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, terrible, terrible. <laughs> uh, all right, great question. Thank you. All right, uh, okay. Oh, look, there's a bit of action happening back there. Further back, yes, you, you. Yes. No, 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 sit down in front at the back. Or you wanted to leave. No, I can, you can do next. You can do the next. No, you don't want to question, you were just trying to go. And I awkwardly made eye contact with you. I, okay, good, good, good chat, good chat. All right, here we go, what's your question? I hope it's worth it after all this. It was uh, worth it, mate. No uh, pressure. Hello, Mr. Daddy Whitey and M. Uh, <laughs> Daddy Whitey. <laughs> quick question. See what um, you is did. it all right if I give you a quick test about Aussie slang? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, because it's totally to. part of the we'll format love to, mate. of this. <laughs> All right, so I was just wondering, what do you think brekkie means? Breakfast. All right. Ah, uh, a cold one. Beer. Beer. Oh, God. Hey, Arvo. Wait, what? Arvo. Arvo. <laughs> oh, an avocado? No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, was that right? What is Do you that? know what, to be fair, both are stoned. What? No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Too much? All right, last one for y'all. That's afternoon. Arvo is afternoon. Oh, Wait, no. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, in Australia, we're super lazy. Uh, so we just halve everything normally <laughs> and just, uh, uh, I can't be bothered. Sounds like my kind of culture. Yeah, <laughs> no. totally. All right, next one. Here we go. All right, so this is my favorite place. I'm going to take offense if you don't get this right. What's a bottle? Oh, uh, yeah. Bottle. Bottle. What's a what? <laughs> a bottle of water? A bottle. Bottle? What's a, it's a place. Let me just say that. Oh, it's a place. Yeah, it's. Uh, do you know how? Uh, look, I read about America. Oh, uh, is it a bathroom? A lot of look. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Funnily enough, if you go to the bottle, you'll normally end up in the bathroom <laughs> if you've done it properly. So uh, it's like the Australian version of church. <laughs> because wow. we, as Australians, as part of our culture, we go there religiously. That's yeah. Very okay, so a bubble o is like a, a, an alcohol store. Oh, it's yeah, a yeah, liquor yeah. store. Yeah, so it's where we buy beer and wine. Oh. And uh, for some of us, sherry. 
So, uh, no, not into sherry, but you can not get a full liter glass just. Wait, so it's an alcohol store or a church or both? No, no, we call, we call that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That is our church. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That is our church. This is our religion. Got it. Oh, nice work. Wait, wait. All right. I like to give you a warning. Who's running this? Like, seriously, dude. Be, be careful with drop bears, all right? That's all I gotta say. What are drop bears? Look at you. Drop bear, drop He's bears. He's just leaving nuggets <laughs> for me to explain. So, drop, are you familiar with koalas? Yes. Yeah. So uh, we have this thing where we go, oh my God, look out for drop bears. And it used to be something really funny and we'd go, we tease tourists with it. We go, oh, watch out for drop bears. Uh, whereas now, thanks to global warming, drop bears are actually real. So more than 40 degrees, a koala will literally pass out and fall out of a tree. So. Oh. That's awful. Yeah, it is. Oh. Not funny anymore, is it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next! Uh, I don't even know where to go from that. Yeah, sure. You. I take a lot of care in who I pick. Thank you. I don't really. Um, I just want to ask if you recommend maybe going to an art school, if you wanted to, because I know Dardis did go to an art school, but would you recommend the art school for, like, I guess, pursuing your animation or art career? Why are you standing behind uh. me? Did I point to you? Okay, all right, fair enough. This is... <laughs> this is a. Uh, it's it, fine. It's a 50 50. I would say if you have the money, obviously go because you got the money, right? But if you don't got the money, you got to pay back tons and tons of loans for years and years and years and years. I got friends who are still paying back the loans. Um, it's, a, it's a big gamble. Didn't Joe um, Biden give you some money off? What? Didn't Joe Biden give you some money off? Yeah, but too late now. I already paid that thing. Uh. <laughs> It's, life's meant to make you better, not bitter. But I would I would say if there's a community art college, go there because all you need really is creative other creative people to motivate you to start doing what you want. Um, so I think environment is the number key factor of what art school provides. Everything else is just whatever. So if we're talking about environment, uh, Art school or, edu or tertiary education facilities don't own art. Nobody owns art. So the concept, like you said, of finding that environment where you can practice and learn and hone your skills may, you know, art school's wonderful if you got the money, but if you don't, don't feel like you're excluded from it. You can find other organizations and groups where you can do similar things to what you would do in art school. Yeah, I, I think, if you got the willpower, you don't need art school. You could learn on your own. Thank you. There you go. All right, next. We're not going to have time for everybody in the line. I'm just managing expectations. I've got 12 minutes and 30 seconds, which is longer than my attention span. What's your question? Okay, um, so for Emma, what is the weirdest or spiciest thing in your relationship with Dinus that he has suggested to you? Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Bruh. Spicy. <laughs> yep. Uh, I recently bought this uh, chili oil, so I've been using that in cooking recently. That's spicy. The, that you think it's bad when you scratch your eye? <laughs> oh my god. There's worse things you could do. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Chili oil. No, for cooking. Oh, of course. That makes sure. Uh, what else would you use it for? Uh, hello. Uh, first off, is that you, Sea Dog? I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm talking about the host, but yeah, because I caught your seed off for a second. But more importantly, uh, Emichu, Didus, uh, are you gonna do round two of Crane Games with Seed Off BA? Yeah. If he asks, I'd be down. I, yeah. I what, guess, whatever, he better. whatever he wants. <laughs> whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. Excellent we'll, we'll question. Down. Also, thank you for including me. I feel sane. <laughs> Hello! Oh, Kishu! Um, you look fantastic! Thank you. Um, this question's for both of you. So, do you... There's three of us up here. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, do you pursue any other creative arts as hobbies? And if you don't, what would you like to do? Ooh, I've been really into scrapbooking lately. That's been sort of like my side hobby where I keep a journal and I'll use my washi tape and my stickers and I'll doodle in it. It's nice! It's a, it's, it's nice to like 
have a little creative thing that I don't necessarily need to like post about. I just do you, do you store your scrapbook on the couch with the bags? No, I put it on my desk because I don't want him to read it. <laughs> Goddess, I think I think well, I I remember before Connor went on his whole bike trip, he brought me to the bike store and I was like, should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? And then like. Uh, obviously, before that, I watched the anime. What's that bicycle anime? You guys know about the bicycle anime, right? That shit was hype. So I was like, maybe I should do it. And then after I watched Connor's stream, I was like, I have FOMO. Now I'm buying a bike. So I'm going to get to biking. So I'm going to do that. All right. Awesome. Thanks. Nice question. Next human. Greetings, human. How are you? Good. What's your Good, question? Yeah. So this is a question for both of you. Uh, I was just wondering, like, is there like an underrated or sh like shoujo or romance anime that you would recommend everyone to watch? Yeah, Great just question. because. And I bet nobody knows what that is, but just because. <laughs> well, the two people that raise their hands. Yeah. That's also the reason you should watch it. I mean, just because. Just because. Just you gotta, because. Just because you gotta. What about you? And yours? Just because. Oh my god. Just because you gotta. Okay. Just kidding. It's called just because. Okay. Oh. Okay, I was making okay. a joke. Shut up. I didn't say anything! Shut up. All right, Under, underrated romance? Oh! Uh, oh, he's a shoujo too, right? Shoujo. I've been reading a shoujo manga. I thought you were going to say your relationship. Underrated romance that is amazing. No. No, that no. shit's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh my god. Oh, okay, do you guys know the shoujo manga a Sign of Affection? Okay, yeah. I've been reading that on the toilet too. It's pretty good. It's we pretty got, good, like, and the art's gorgeous. I recommend it. It's not a, technically not a show, but it's a really good manga, and I enjoy the it. The art is much. very pretty. Yeah, it's Amazing gorgeous. Work. All right, thank you. Next year, man. Oh, big uh, bag. What did you buy? That was uh, Just to ask the question. We're out of time. I didn't actually buy anything. I bought this bag specifically for one dollar, so that I could put all my other stuff in. <laughs> That's very clever. I like that. So, all right. Um. Obviously, both of you guys are very amazing artists. So I've just been wondering, um, is there a specific show, anime, manga, anything, a specific series, I suppose, that has you reckon has really influenced your art style throughout the years? Is there like one series like that? Yeah, what's oh. influenced you more? I think there's one mangaka I always say was like one of my big influences when I was younger, and that would be Arina Tanamira. Uh, she does like the really huge like shoujo eyes and like super detailed art. I love it and uh, it inspired me a lot when I was a kid. I'm gonna be honest, I, I didn't really, I must have done this subconsciously, but like I just realized how similar skit dance is to my channel and I love the faces they make. Maybe I subconsciously was just like, I wanna draw the faces like him. <laughs> so skit dance, I guess. Thank you. All right, great question. Next human. Hello. Hello. Um, my question is, well, maybe for both of you, um, have you ever considered making an anime, like a short anime film together? Oh, I wish. Oh my I god. Wish. I don't yeah. even know how to yes. begin what that would, how, how I, to even do that. I want to so bad, but the time commitment is scary. Yeah, so, Dinas, do you always have a fear of commitment? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> do you always have a fear of commitment? Well, you know, Drawing takes on forever, so if you're gonna... <laughs> oh, I see where you're going. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, there we go. All right, great question, thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. right, next human. Hello, hello. Hello. On a scale of one to 10, Dinos and Emery two, how hot would you rate this man right here? <laughs> oh my god. I uh, like you, you can stay. The limit has been broken. The scale. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say the scale's been broken, it could be on either direction. I'm just. <laughs> well, I like to keep it ambiguous. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a classy, That's attractive why I paint my looking nails. man. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Great question. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. 10 out of 10. Come and see me afterwards, I'll give you some merch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Can you top that? Sand Village. Um, I just wanted to know your opinion on Chihuahuas. On what? A little bit closer to the mic. I just wanted your opinion on Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas? Uh-oh. On, on what? Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas? Chihuahuas? The dog? Like the dog, right? Yeah, uh -oh. good. Uh-oh. You want to go first? Yep, 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 yep. I, I don't like them. 
Well, I want to say it right here, right now. I don't care what people think of me. I don't like small dogs. They're annoying. They're... I like big, fat dogs that are lazy and watch TV with you. Fair enough. Good question. Thank you. All right, next human. Hello, Venti. Hi. Uh, Epic do you blushing. Do making any Genshin content? Uh, we did, but maybe in the future. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I guess it depends. Maybe if Mahoyo wants to pay me. <laughs> no, no free, no free. Attention goes where content. money flows. <laughs> Epic you. life lesson. Next question. What's your opinion on JoJo? I have not seen it. I am sorry. I I am on I am on season two. It's that dude. Who's that? It's the guy with the hat. Oh, I'm on season two. Anyways, it reminds me of Maki. <laughs> <laughs> Dig it. Get I. Thank you. Dinus, this is for you. Yo, who is the best Dragon Ball villain and why? The best Dragon. I kind of. I kind of like Cell because every time you kill him, he's like. I'm still alive. And then you kill him again, he's like, nah. It's kind of like Boo, Good actually. Choice. Boo does that, too. Good choice. <laughs> All right. Powering through with 4 minutes, 26 seconds left on the clock. Counting down. Uh, Dynas, yesterday you mentioned Oraimu. What about Oraimu? Wait, 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 say that one more time. Dynas, yesterday you mentioned Oraimu. Or how would you say it? What about Oraimu Sensei? <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, it's kind of like the same show, so obviously you know my answer, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, and, and Gart likes it too, so we're homies. Okay. <laughs> All right, next one, here we go. Hi, um, Hi. if you could cosplay absolutely any character, who would it be? Uh, it would be myself. Huh? Uh, but thanks for asking. Oh, no, no, that was to you guys, be sorry. Besides him, I would do probably <laughs> Genshin, honestly. Wait, which character, though? Uh, I don't know, child. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all find that. I would want... I still want to cosplay as Ty Lee from Avatar. Yeah. I love her. I personally see Didus as Klee, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nice work. Do, do, do. Uh, first off, welcome. And Thank big you. And fan of both of you and your content is well as the MC extraordinaire keeping us on track. Yeah, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Uh, like lying and liquor, another thing your friends and fans might have warned you about is our complete and utter lack of filter and our reverent sense of humour. Have you been in, on the brunt of that or seen that at all in your time here? Brunt of the what? Our irreverent and super crazy dark sense of humour. No, everyone I've been has been really sweet. You'll see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty used to dark humor, so bring it on. All right. Uh, give it give it time. I'll have to chat to you guys afterwards and tell you some of the uh, cons uh, uh, different... Th we're just going to move on. All right. Uh, yes, step forward. What's your favorite manga? Oh. Ah, uh, uh, Yotsuba. I would have to go with one more, one and a half. Woo! <laughs> All right, Thank great you. question. Next one. Do you know what? We might actually get through this line. We got two minutes ten. If I shut up. As we know, um, Emily, you're a VTuber, correct? Yes. Titus, would you consider becoming a VTuber yourself? I'm not gonna say too much. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh. Um. Hi. 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 Uh, I saw you at the signing yesterday. Um. So I just thought I would. Uh, are there any children here? Okay. Well, um, I was wondering. Yeah, uh, one right here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, We're both male, so what it's. You're like a uh, favorite hentai tags, huh? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's ever been mentioned before, so why not? <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> so, just intimately between the three of us, <laughs> what are your favorite. <laughs> Wait, are we not allowed to answer? Uh, can you explain what hentai is? Do you not know? I know, I just want to hear you say it. Oh! <laughs> um, you want to no, go no, no. first? No, 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 alright, so what, 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 okay. Let's, you go first. Can we find you. a socially appropriate way to do this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. There, are, are, there, are there children? Yeah, are there children? If you're under 18, <laughs> put your hand up. <laughs> I'm disappointed, I expected you to lie. <laughs> 
I, All right. I plead the fifth. I'm just gonna say vanilla is boring as hell. <laughs> What a great question to end on, because we've got 34 seconds oh. left, which I hear is a personal best. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank indeed. You. Uh, do you want to, let's see if we can slam one more in. Quick, 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 yeah, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to ask you, you Mate. right there, yeah. How'd you get that legendary divine beard? It's genetic, <laughs> and I've spent a disproportionate amount of time caring for it. It would be quicker and easier in my world to shave, but I just, uh, I'm just, I'm scared, no, of, I'm no, scared no, no. of commitment. Don't shave it, don't shave it. It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Uh, there are plenty more videos of my beard online. I've, got, right. I've got an Only Beards. I've got, I've got to check that out, man. Yeah, totally, totally. I tried Only Fans, but it, more accurately, do, do you fans, use beard oil? Like, you, do you know what? Beard oil is so important because it looks lush and bearded on top, but underneath you still have skin that you need to care for. This is where I move into my infomercial stage. Oh. Uh, but no, uh, look after your skin, kids. Uh, very important. Look after your hair and your beard. It's it's so good. I mean, I've got all of my uh, my beard care tips I got from my mum because she's got a great beard as well. All right, thank you, thank you. Right. And we are actually out of time. It has been oh, absolutely no. amazing. Uh, so uh, just quickly before we go, everyone. Uh, have you subscribed to both of their YouTube channels? Yes, yes. If you haven't, you need to do it now. Do you follow these guys on socials as well? Super important you do that as well because I am 150% here for the white knuckle thrill ride uh, of your Japan living journey. Your art and so much more. Dives Emma Richu, huge round of applause. Thank you. Amazing.